Good evening, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM, where for the next seven and a half hours, we've got four tense thrillers, each one of them exploring military justice. And we begin tonight with a 1984 drama that marked only the second big screen appearance for a rising star named Denzel Washington. Directed and co-produced by Norman Jewison, a soldier story. Set on a Louisiana Army base during World War II, the story begins one night when Sergeant Waters, a black sergeant leading a company of black soldiers, is shot and killed. A black captain, played by Howard E. Rollins Jr., is brought in from Washington to investigate the murder, and he intends to interrogate all the soldiers connected to the case, black and white. The film was adapted by Charles Fuller from his Pulitzer Prize winning play, A Soldier's Play, first produced off-Broadway in 1981 by the Negro Ensemble Company. Norman Jewison was determined to bring the play to the big screen, though he immediately encountered challenges trying to finance the production. Ultimately, Columbia Pictures only agreed to invest when Jewison offered to make the film without taking a salary. The studio eventually agreed to defer to Directors Guild rules requiring that Jewison be paid the minimum fee for its members, known as scale. That was $150,000 then. Because of the limited budget, Jewison couldn't cast established stars in the film, so many of the roles were played by the actors who'd originated them on stage, including Denzel Washington. The original cast had shared the 1982 Obie Award for Distinguished Ensemble Performance, and this film gave Washington one of his first important opportunities to showcase his considerable dramatic talents on screen. Here's the film from 1984 with an impressive supporting cast of then relatively unknown actors, including Larry Riley, David Alan Greer, Robert Townsend, David Harris, Art Evans, plus singer Patti LaBelle, and featuring an Oscar-nominated performance by Adolf Caesar as Sergeant Waters, a soldier's story. Denzel Washington had made just one other Hollywood movie, the 1981 comedy Carbon Copy, before appearing in A Soldier's Story, an adaptation of Charles Fuller's play. Still, Washington was not unknown. He was gaining considerable attention for his role on the television drama St. Elsewhere, which premiered in the fall of 1982. From the beginning, director Norman Jewison recognized Washington's enormous potential for greatness. Jewison felt that Washington was, in his words, destined to be an important movie actor. He described him as intelligent, rebellious, totally confident, and spectacularly talented. The two went on to work together again 15 years later to make the 1999 drama The Hurricane, which earned Denzel Washington the fourth Oscar nomination of his career. Ahead tonight, in my mind, the greatest war picture ever made. It's also a thrilling story of what passed for military justice. Kirk Douglas stars opposite Adolf Maju and George McCready in Stanley Kubrick's Paths of Glory. It's next on TCM.